Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Verma and today we are learning the finite automata. First of all, we are taking one example to understand the need of finite automata. Let us suppose we are having sigma that is equal to set of a comma b. Here sigma is alphabet and a and b are symbols. Here symbols are basic building block which is a and b. An alphabet is the finite set of these symbols. Now from this given alphabet, we are going to generate some string. We are giving the name which is S that is equal to A, B, A. So here S signify the string. String is the sequence of given alphabets. Now we are going to generate some language. Let's say the first language is L1 and that is set of all string of length 2. So from the given alphabet we are going to generate the string and the string combination is creating the language. So here in the set of language 1 we are having the string of length 2. That means from the symbols A and B we are creating AA then AB then BA, then BB. So these four strings we can create using the given alphabet which is having the length 2. These are the limited string. So this language is finite language. Now let us suppose that I want to search the string in the finite language. So here the string given is ABA. So in the finite language, we are comparing with all string, let's say ABA with AA, these are not matching. Then ABA with AB, this is not matching. Then ABA with BA, again not matching. And ABA with BB, so this is not matching. In the four comparison, we concluded that the string not found in finite language. So finding whether a string is present or not in the finite language is easy and by using simple computation. So in the finite language, finding a string is very easy. Now let us suppose that we are having one more language which is L2 and that is set of all string that start with A. So from the given alphabet, we are creating this language where every string will start with A. So here we have A, 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 then 4 times A, comma, 5 times A, 6 times A, and so on, A, A, B, A, double B, A, and so on. So this is the infinite language. This is infinite because there are unlimited strings possible. And now we are going to find out the string S inside the infinite language L2. For that we are comparing the string ABA with all the string one by one. So firstly the ABA is compared with A not matching, then with AA not matching, with AAA not matching, 4 times A not matching, double AB not matching, A double B not matching and this comparison will go till infinity because there are infinite number of string. So finding whether the string is present or not in infinite language is very complex. It is very tough because there are unlimited number of comparison. For the infinite languages, machines cannot take the decision easily. It is very complex for the machine to handle the infinite language. So finite representation of language is required for machine to take the decision. And this finite representation of language is done by finite automata.
Here the automata is a machine or some model. So it is the finite machine or finite model. So finite automata is the finite representation of language. Finite automata is of two types. The first type is finite automata without output. And second type is finite automata with output. Finite automata without output do not generate any output and they are further off three categories. The first category is DFA, which is deterministic finite automata. Second one is NFA, which is non-deterministic finite automata. And third one is epsilon NFA. And this is non-deterministic finite automata with epsilon. Finite automata with output generate the output and they are of two category. The first one is Mille machine and second one is Mure machine. So these all are the types of finite automata. So that's all for today. Thank you.